the Bezoses don't really have to worry, <laughs> no. you know, like the rest of us. Uh, there is news. Uh, Tony, maybe you can uh, pull up the uh, pictures of the cute couple. Five years together, Lauren Sanchez and Jeff Bezos. There they are, the two of them enjoying life. They are engaged, everybody, and I am delighted. They're in the south of France, where most uh, engaged couples should be. Right. They're in Cannes. Um, and they are staying where, let's be honest, if you were a jillionaire, you might stay. And that's on your $500 million yacht, everyone. Yes. There you go. Here's a picture of them on the yacht. Oh, that yeah. is so nice. They do seem very much into each other. The front of the yacht does have a mermaid resembling Lauren Sanchez. On the, uh, it's oh. right there. It's like a living, it's not living, of course, but I'm saying it's an enduring reminder of, uh, of Lauren. The 59-year-old billionaire, there's the yacht. And oh, the broadcast journalist, Lauren. Nice. Yeah, it's got a pool. That's a big pool, too. Yeah, most $500 million lot <laughs> yachts do have big pools. They don't pools. skimp on the pool, no. Exactly. Um, they started oh, the dating mermaid. in 2018. There is that mermaid. Yeah. It's the likeness of Lauren. So uh, They've kept a low profile initially, but then... Once the divorce from Mackenzie Scott was official and announced and finalized, they have come forward. I've got some uh, pictures of them making out. You see them there? Um, you can, there are any number of pictures there, um, Tony, that you can find of them traveling the world and public displays of affection. And I, think, I, yeah, go ahead. Do you think he's a big dummy? I mean, he got divorced from his first wife. $35 billion divorce, you know, and now he's got whatever. I, I feel like she's, I'll call her the plastic wife, but she's very, you know, shall we say cosmetically surgery enhanced. Here's a woman who's, and I know they've been dating for a while and, you know, I'm whatever. holding my comments until Kim is, is done. It, Go ahead. Yeah. Do you feel like maybe you know, it'd be nice to just have a girlfriend instead of get married again and pay another $35 billion to her. I don't know. Just a thought. Or maybe I, this is wealth distribution, you know? Well, let me first say something about Lauren Sanchez. I used to work with her. I went to her first wedding. I was a good friend of Lauren Sanchez, and I always loved Lauren Sanchez. She was terrific. She was smart. I understand the way she looks is kind of like sexuality forward, and the way she sort of acts might kind of ooze a little sexuality or a lot of sexuality, that doesn't mean she's not a cool person. She is. I really like her. So I haven't talked to her in years. I haven't talked to her since she's connected with the, the, the Bezos man. But I don't have an issue with her. And I will say something else. And I know a lot of people in the chat have already made fun of her. And I get it. She has that look, et cetera. But, you know, you women... I'm sorry, but you're so <laughs> cruel to each other. You know, okay, I don't understand. Right. Oh, she's you're all right. plastic. She's had a lot of enhancements. So what? So she, what? She wanted them so and got them. Why true. is that bad? It's no, guess, there's, yeah. I guess my, the, the, the way I look at it or the way it, it comes off and she met, like you said, you know her, she's probably a lovely person, but when you, you know, have those big lips that take over your face and the cheekbones and you start looking like you're, you know, you've done way too much cosmetic surgery. It feels like you're, you're fake. Like you, you, you're a fake person. Like that it feels as though you want to somehow, when you say fake, I don't know, you want to improve your look. People sometimes do it by, um, losing weight or sure. getting those d derma abrasion things or right. you know what i mean there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do and would you say well that's fake i mean you know god gave you your face and you shouldn't ever do derma abrasion or you know what i mean it's a god made you a, it's a uh, i i'm sorry I, again i i would i would discourage maybe my girlfriend or wife from doing it but i but it might depend if she really wanted it and it's somehow that you know so what I, again i i find that just as we can say it's superficial to bust somebody on the superficiality of it is is also superficial you're only evaluating them based on their look so because again I have no now, other information yes right i right mm -hmm. i i don't think you can really uh, gather any other information now i do have this though kim because this is the other part of what you were saying which is 
after the Bezoses are together now, the new Bezoses, they are to be married, Lauren and Jeff, um, there are going to be some financial concerns. And I went to Forbes, and they have this. Marriage and finances, three crucial steps to take before tying the knot. Here are three tips, they say, on how to approach each money conversation with a future partner. This columnist says, based on my own marriage and the experience of coaching many women toward financial independence, pre-marriage and post-divorce, here are the concerns. Initiate money conversations early, even if they're uncomfortable. By the way, probably would be uncomfortable in this case, right? You don't want, if you're Lauren, for him to feel as though you're marrying him just for the money, right? But they probably passed that. Here is the piece from Forbes that I'm quoting from. Uh, you want to bring this up to let your partner know you're considering a long-term future. Make it less awkward by prefacing your questions with statements that don't feel judgmental. Here are some questions you can use to open up the conversation with a more positive spin. Maybe the Bezoses will do some version of this. Are you saving up for anything special? What is important to you? What is your favorite thing to spend money on? What don't you like to spend money on? Divorce would be my <laughs> guess. What did your family teach you about money? Do you invest? Who do you like investing in? What do you like investing in? Debt can be really hard to deal with. What do you think about debt? These are all things. Know your own numbers and financial independent goals. Budget together, even if you don't share expenses. I'm guessing they don't share expenses. Don't ignore gender and racial wealth gaps. Acknowledge that while women have made great strides in their finances, there's still a big gap when it comes to both pay and total wealth. It occurs to me that some of these things don't apply really to Lauren and Jeff. But nonetheless, it's good for the rest of us to keep in mind. Marriage and finances. I wish them the best. Frankly, Kim, I think you're not going to be invited to the wedding. I'll I don't just be think honest I'm invited. With you. No, you are. Uh, no, no. You're a bit too disparaging in your comments to be invited. I really am. Yeah. Tony, you're still in the hunt, is the good news. If you've. Uh, you know, I wouldn't clear my calendar. I don't think it's... Uh, Thanks, Tony. But I would just say that it, it's possible. So, Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.